What are you working on, Jacob? From his first school tour at Arbor Heights Elementary in West Seattle last year, new superintendent Jose Bonda saw the writing on the chalkboard. Obviously, you know, there's a steep learning curve here. He's learned the price of replacing schools like Arbor Heights will be pretty steep, too. The BEX, or Building Excellence School Levy, Seattle voters face next month will cost about $700 million over the next six years. There's an operations levy, too, to keep our schools running for more than $500 million. Together, renewing these levies would cost the owner of an average $400,000 home an extra $160 a year. That's about a 15% increase over the $1,000 a year we're paying in school taxes right now. The $1.25 billion levy package is the most expensive request the Seattle School Board has ever made. I hope there, everyone understands that this is absolutely critical to our continued success. School Board member Michael DeBell, who just stepped down from his role as president, says raising the money is just part of the problem. The overwhelming sensation that I feel right now is fatigue. You can get as creative as you want. DeBell points out Seattle schools have been growing beyond capacity in the last two years. The forecast was for 1,000 new students each year. The reality, 1,500 kids enrolled each year. Well, that 500 students, that's a whole other school. That's filling up uh, an empty school, of which we don't actually have any empty schools. So you get a sense of the magnitude of the challenge. The problem is now it is a lot about capacity management. And the problem is it's in all parts of the city. Melissa Westbrook, who writes the Save Our Schools blog about the Seattle School District, says the school levies, if approved, would provide some relief for overcrowding. But the levies are not a complete answer. It's almost like a chess game where the pieces are moving. The capital levy would build four new schools in North and Northeast Seattle, where overcrowding is at its worst. This is a substantially old building. But because overcrowding is such a top priority, aging schools begging for a rebuild, like 64-year-old Arbor Heights, won't be replaced until the year 2018. So they're going to have to suffer through another five years of that particular building, which personally anybody who's walked through that building would say, let's get that done. But the district has a lot to balance. And the balancing act doesn't end there. Obviously, we're not where we need to be. Estela Ortega from Seattle's El Centro de la Raza has a long list of priorities for Superintendent Bonda. She'd like an in-school suspension program to make sure kids get some education while they're being punished. She's also calling for expanded bilingual education programs and fewer kids in the classroom to help a growing number of minority students. Half of the enrollment in the Seattle School District is children of color. Those children of color aren't performing as well as white students in reading, math, and science. It's a long-standing achievement gap Ortega says needs attention in Seattle and at the state level, too. It's going to take a lot of different things being done to address it. It's not any one thing. The problem is we don't know how the state legislature will respond to a Supreme Court ruling to fully fund K-12 education. Ortega is counting on state lawmakers to come up with the money for Seattle and all of Washington's school districts. We need resources, and so with the state Supreme Court mandate, hopefully, you know, we're on the road to uh, turning around situations. Director Smith Blum is elected president by a vote of 4-3. New school board president Kay Smith Blum will be helping Superintendent Bonda turn Seattle schools around. It's been a cycle of many changes and opportunities are beginning to emerge, which I believe will be our reward for seeing this work through. That's the hope as well for Bonda himself, who's six months in on a mission he knows will take years to accomplish. My intention is to be here for the long haul, and there are a lot of things that we need to attend to. What is it? 